<laughs> Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I just received two huge boxes of brand new TACOM kits that I'm going to share with you today. Uh, I kind of broke them up into unusual category, meaning these gun turrets and these flak towers. And these, this is what this video is going to be about right now, are these five particular models. Uh, I started off with one box and then right in the middle of filming, another box showed up. So we're going to add some stuff together. So this video will have these five. And then the next couple of videos, I'm going to slide these over the edge. We also received in TACOM is getting into the model ship business. And you can see we've got all these brand new model ships in 700 scale that in the next video I will show you what these look like inside. And finally, the third video coming out very, very soon will be this one right here. This is a brand new, you know, my love of uh, Stugs. The brand new Stug 3 Late from Tacom Blitz. And this one has got all kinds of extra accessories inside of it. The uh, metal barrels, metal shields, all that kind of stuff. So very happy to show you what those are going to be like. But for today, we're going to take a look at these really cool kits, some unusual stuff, gun turrets. I love those. Um, just a lot to see. So let's get started. Okay, uh, now I get to show you guys a brand new one from TACOM that will be out very soon. This is in 35th scale and super excited about this one because this is the first U.S. gun, World War II Navy gun that they've come out with. We've seen the, uh, the ones off the Yamato and of course off the Bismarck and this is the very first one that's going to come out for the U.S. Navy. This is the Mark 38 twin gun mount, 5 inch gun mount. And before we take a look inside this too, it's also just been announced, and I'm going to show you a picture of it right now, that they're doing the 16-inch guns off of the Missouri, or the Iowa class. In this case, they're going to be doing the USS Missouri, but uh, beautiful to see these too. Very excited about that. Now back to the, uh, the new Mark 38. Uh, the really cool thing about this, and I'm going to show you inside, is the fact that it has two metal gun barrels. So we don't have to sand the seam out of the, uh, the guns here. It's all ready to go. We just slide them into place. So let's take a look inside. Here we are. Here's our first piece we're going to take a look at. And obviously this is the base of the, uh, the twin mounted gun. And now the Mark 38 that we actually have in this particular kit looks very similar to some of the other double mounts. So like on the, uh, the battleships, they used a Mark 28 gun, which is similar looking, but it is a little bit different. So this Mark 38 was used on late war late World War II, I should say, destroyers. So Fletcher class had a single mounted cannon. This would have been more like what you'd see like on the gearing class where it has the twin mounted guns. So here is the, uh, the base plate. And you can see it's got the very similar setup as a armored tank kit would have. So here is the bottom of the gun and it will f file into here and then this will lock it into place. So that is how the first two pieces go together. And as you're going to see that the kit is fairly simple to put together. It's, it's kind of a box with guns sticking out of it on the base. But here is our sides with the, uh, the hatches on there already molded into place. Nice looking. Here we have some of the accessories including the back of the, uh, the turret. Get you close in here. Nice crisp detail on this. Very, very nice looking. TACOM always does on all these gun kits. Actually, on all the TACOM stuff, they do a very nice job. And then here we have the top of the turret, as well as the front, with the detailing already molded in there. And then we're going to get two of this particular sprue here. So this is going to be the, the bases that you're going to put the, uh, the gun actually into, so the guns can go up and down. So like I said, you get two of this particular one. And now I'm going to show you the metal barrel that comes in this kit. And of course you get two of them. Nice taper to it here. And I just love the metal barrels. Always have. Obviously no sanding, no anything. You just pull it out, slide it in, paint it. It's ready to go. Can't, can't get better than that. And of course you do get two of them and they're individually bagged. Now we're just going to take a quick look at the instructions. Clearly this kit is not going to be very difficult. It's going to give you a little breakdown of the parts. 
Okay, let's zoom in a little bit here and take you give you a look at the instructions, how they go together. Boom, that's it. There are six easy steps on putting this together. Uh, I, oh, oh, I take that back. Sorry, seven steps, seven steps. Sliding the barrels in and then attaching it to the bottom, which you already saw me do the seventh step basically on it. So very, very cool. The, uh, the painting is going to be very simple. It's going to be Battleship Gray. So I actually want to build this because I think this is going to be a nice little desktop display. I'm going to put it up on my counter next to my register uh, once I get it built. But of course, I will show you a video on that as well. So let's move on to the next item. Now we're going to take a look at something very, very unusual, and you got to give a credit to TACOM uh, to do some unusual subjects like that. And right now we are looking at one of two brand new flak towers that they are coming out with. These are both done in 1/350th scale, and the very first one we're going to take a look at here is flak tower number four. And excuse the pronunciation because I'm probably going to butcher it, but the way it looks to me is Heilig Gneisfeld G Tower. So. Uh, I don't know what, quite what that means, and I guess I can look it up on Translate later on, but uh, if you know off before I get a chance to, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. But look at these massive flak towers that they built uh, in Berlin. I'm assuming this is one of the Berlin flak towers, and wow, it's just something totally, totally unusual. But before we tear into one of these, let's look at the other one that's coming out. This is flak tower number one at the, uh, the Berlin Zoo. So, very, very similar in their shapes and sizes, but, uh, wow, I mean, talk about a diorama that you could put on there, building a whole little 350th scale city around it, or, in this case, the park, I'm assuming that it's next to a lot of greenery, so you could use all your uh, train modeling skills. So, both kits are very similar the way they're set up. This is actually, the Berlin Zoo is a one that is slightly smaller in uh, size than the other one that I just showed you. But uh, we're going to take a look at this one since I've already opened up the inside. So, let's take a look inside. So, let's take a look at the parts that are in this kit. Um, just like the, uh, the turret I showed you a little while ago, there is not going to be a ton of plastic parts in here. They're decent size, but uh, I think it's going to be pretty easy to put together. And there is a small amount of photo etch. The first sprue we're going to look at is this one here. This makes up the sides of the flak tower. And you actually get two of the identical ones, as you can see right here. And yes, there is a slight slant because the actual side of the tower is wider at the base and narrower at the top. And so you get two of those. That'll make up all four sides of the tower. Next up, we have these circular rings that'll go on the very top of the gun emplacements. And you can see these little, little pillars right in here. This would be where they stored ammunition for the very big flat guns. And then you've got some of the... Uh, circular parts for the other guns that go on here. Now we're going to look at the big guy here. Here's the very top of the tower and you can see we've got the four big gun emplacements on each corner and then of course the doors and stairwells going all the way up to the top here. It's a really cool looking piece right there. And then we've got our base, which you can see is a little bit larger than the, the top. And that is to compensate for that, that slight slope going into the edges. Simple enough. And then we've got a couple of these little accessory things. I'm not actually quite sure what these are here, but I'll show you a close-up of those. You can take a look at those. Some of the little accessories. I think these might be like handrails or something like that. Now we're going to take a look at the guns that come in this kit. And obviously there's a decent amount of those. You can see kind of a close-up of the guns that are in here. And the bases and things like that. You know, the parts that make up the gun bases. Got a little bit of slide molding right in through there. Got two of the really big flat guns. Those are probably the... If it's the dual ones, which I think it is, I think those are 128 millimeter guns. So you get two of that sprue, just like this. Next up we have two of the end sprue, which makes up all the secondary flat guns. And you can see the shields on this one right here, and then the little tiny barrels. 
just like that. And the final bit of kit parts is this uh, fret of photo etch here. And I zoomed in kind of close so you can see. This is where you're going to get all of your detail on here. So you've got all of the uh, the metal doors for the sides of, or the window covers, I should say, not doors. Window covers for the uh, the sides of the flak tower. We've got that really cool looking crane, as well as all the little tiny tiny accessory parts for the uh, for the actual guns themselves. So. If you're used to building a 1350 a scale ship, this is probably going to be a great kit for you because you've got a lot of the very same similar parts that you would have when you're assembling all the guns on that. And finally, I'll just show you the instructions really fast to let you see how it actually goes together. Uh, we won't spend too much time on that, but show you just how the breakdowns are. And finally, the painting diagram. As you can see, it's pretty much all concrete gray with a bunch of washes that they recommend on it to give it kind of that worn look. So I was just about ready to release this video with the product that I just showed you on there. And a box from our friends at Tacom just showed up with uh, a bunch of new stuff, but two things that actually fit with this particular video. And they are the 35th scale as well as the 72nd scale 15 centimeter 20, uh, C28 guns off the battleship Bismarck. So we have the exact same gun in two different scales. The 35th scale is really cool because it's in a scale, it's a little bit larger scale, you can do a little bit more detailing on, and it's really cool they did the 72nd scale one because it matches the Bruno turret that they had out uh, just a couple months ago was released. So that way you can add it to your collection in either way you want. So since I've got both of these right here and I think they fit since we've already done another turret and then the flak towers are very unusual too, we're gonna tear into both of these right now. Okay, first up, we have the 35th scale version, the much larger version of the 15 centimeter battleship Bismarck uh, guns. I'm going to take the box off to the side here and then start off with this big boy. This is absolutely beautiful and this had to be slide molded. This is all one piece molding right here, as you can see, and we'll get up in here close so you can see some of the detail. But there's detail in every direction, so that makes me believe that this turret piece was all slide molded and done absolutely beautifully. Nice when you don't have to put all the facets together and stuff. It's just done and you know it's going to be the, the proper angle. And we're going to keep this on here and show you. These actually come packaged together. Here is our base and they already have the supports in here for the gun. So this will just boom like that. You've got most of the gun already ready to go. And I'm going to pull this out. Next, this is how the base is on the 35th scale one. So you've got kind of like the pedestal base, just like this. I mean, it's the way it looks on the gun. You're just not getting any of the deck. The uh, the smaller 72nd scale one will have a little bit of the deck in it, but I guess the deck would get pretty large in this scale. So same thing, just like a regular tank model, you're gonna cut these out right here, and these little pins are gonna line up to it. You'll be able to rotate the, uh, the gun turret. Okay, next up we have the blast bags, and just like all of Tacom's other uh, guns, turret guns like this, they give you two different forms of blast bag, either with the guns at a you know at a neutral position or a very elevated position, and then also these I believe are the range finders on here, which we have the doors on the range finder here, and lastly we have the the guns themselves. Now I know I went all off on the metal barrels and unfortunately these don't have metal barrels like the other kit I showed you. Uh, this is not going to be super super hard to put together. I wish they were metal barrels and actually there's probably going to be aftermarket companies doing metal barrels for these but not the most difficult barrel in the world to, to sand the seam off. 
And then you can see we've also got some, you get two sprues of this right here. So obviously it's a hollowed out piece here. And I just, in this size, this is the easiest way that they can uh, put that together. So you've just looked at all of the parts that are in this kit. I'm going to show you the photo etch and the instructions on this one right now. Here is the fret of photo etch tie downs that is included inside the kit. Get one of those in there. And just like all of the other kits I've shown in this particular video, the uh, the theme is very, very low part count. And it's going to go together pretty quickly, I would imagine. So you've got, start off over here. The first set of part of the instructions, how it goes together. Building the range finders. And finally attaching the bra. So seven easy steps. You can get the entire thing built up and ready to go. Uh, painting very similar to the the Bruno turrets that are out. It's the uh, you know the gray color with the white blast bag. So also very easy for painting this as well. Now we're going to take a look at the 70 second scale version and the main difference between these two particular ones is obviously this has a little bit of uh, decking to it. Um, all of this area and through here. So let's look at the parts inside. Okay, to start off with, we have our turret section here. And once again, it looks like this is based on the, the shape. I would have to believe this is slide molded too because of the detail is 360 degrees all the way around it. Very nice having that all, like I said earlier, all built and ready to go for you. We have our deck section right here. So very, very simple. Nice little bit of wooden deck that you can paint up. Add a little bit of color to your uh, your display. Here is the actual base. So here's the base that is included in the other one and the bottom of the turret. And then very, very similar layout if you notice too. The blast bags in the, uh, the two different uh, positions. The range finders right here. That's very, very similar to the other one. This is where it gets a little bit different. And especially in 70 second seal, the barrel is molded as one piece slide molded. You can see the barrels already hollowed out there. So this part you don't have to worry about when you cut that off, no sanding there. Just a little bit of sanding at those two connection points on the, uh, the sprue, you're ready to go. So that shouldn't be very difficult at all. You cut that off, do a little sanding, and you have basically your whole gun. And I'll just show you quickly I called them tie downs earlier, but they're actually the strapping on the turret, I believe, to keep guys from like, you know, as like a handrail. Because you get the same little uh, connection point, plus you get some really thin monofilament, which is probably pretty hard to see inside here. But it is inside the kit too, so I'm sure what it is is for putting down all around the top there as a, as a handheld. So there you go, guys. There is a quick look at five new TACOM kits. Some really, really cool looking stuff. Uh, I will have another video coming out on all of the brand new TACOM ships and also one on TACOM's brand new Stug 3, the late version of it there with the side skirts and the multi-metal barrels. That will also be coming out very soon as well. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.